stress reliever, stress reliever, stress reliever today. This is, November is rough, December is rough, this is the holiday season. This is gonna be a rough one for me, guys. I won't even lie to you. Um, I knew it was gonna happen. I was just waiting for it to start kicking in. And then I woke up this morning, I'm just like, all right, I'm feeling it. You know, this is gonna be the first holiday. Mom isn't around on this one. And I, we're not even at Thanksgiving yet. Thanksgiving's next week. But I'm already going into that, that weird, weird, weird place. So I had to go come to the gym. I didn't even want to come to the gym today, to be honest with you, but I knew I had to. I knew I had to because I felt I was going into that dark place because the holidays are going to be rough. I know a couple other people who are going through something similar, and if I don't know and you're going through it, trust me, I feel, I feel it. I feel it, I feel it. And for those who, are, who don't know or who doesn't have to go through something like this, I want you guys to know that it is, it is extremely, extremely painful. Um, it's weird, like you start remembering all of the holidays that you had um, with that loved one. You know, I was like just reminiscing and I, I wasn't even trying to, that's the thing. I wasn't trying to think about it because I knew it was, it was gonna make myself just, you know, even sadder if that's even a word, whatever. But you just start thinking about all the holidays. I start thinking about when I was a little baby, you know, where we're cutting turkey together, making cornbread together and all this crazy stuff. And, or, you know, or I'm just bringing her a plate after I've been to like five different people's houses. And it's like, damn, okay, now, yeah, that's, that's not happening this year. And it's never gonna happen again, and it's crazy. So, I have to, in one way, I'm trying to like, keep it buried, but in another way, I have to still honor her. That's the thing, I had, I had, to, talk with some, to, I had to talk with somebody, and it kind of put things in perspective. It's like, you know, and I understood, and I knew it, but it was just kind of like reassurance, like, okay, you still gotta honor her. You guys still have to honor that loved one. You still have to honor that person that you lost. You know, even though you kind of want to bury some of the feelings and emotions because you know what it can drum up, we have to honor them. We gotta cherish them. And I want, if that's one thing I, I can give you guys that you can take away, cherish that person. And for those who have all your loved ones and have not lost any of them, cherish them. Cherish them when they're here. Don't cherish them when you get into a situation like me when you lose them. You know, don't wait. Take use me for an example. You know, while they're here, pick up that phone, call them, don't text them. You know, if they live close by, don't even wait until Thanksgiving or the holidays to go visit them. Go visit them now. Go visit them on the weekend. Go just just randomly pop up because they will cherish these things. Um, in retrospect, I knew now all the time I used to go visit my mother and to just kind of pop up, or she would just tell me to come by, especially in the, the recent times before her passing. You know, I think she had, I think she had an idea that the time was getting closer. So every time I would just, you know, pop up and come visit, or come check on her, she would cherish those moments. I could tell she would just, she would always, we would always cherish the moments, but she would cherish them just a little bit more, like, you know, what she knew something. She knew something was happening. And I want you guys to do that with your, with your people, with your family, you know, with your friends, whoever it may be. Take that lesson from me. You know, don't wait until you get to something as traumatic as I did. I want you guys to go out there and reach out to that person. You know, and for those who have lost somebody and it's going to be very tough this year, then what I want you to do is make sure you honor them and go find your safe space and make sure whatever you got to do, you know, that you don't lose it, you find it. So. Something you guys can take away. We'll get out of here, finish up these abs. Until next time.